हेलो डियर व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन एक्सपायरी पीरियड ऑफ ड्रग प्रोडक्ट्स एंड मेडिसिन सो ऑल ऑफ अस नो दैट द ड्रग्स एंड द फॉर्मुलेशन कम्स विद द एक्सपायरी पीरियड दिस एक्सपायरी पीरियड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द शेल्फ लाइफ पीरियड एंड ऑल द मेडिसिन बियर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डेट एंड द एक्सपायरी डेट सम ऑफ द फॉर्मुलेशन सोल्ड इन the foreign countries like europe countries of the europe and us these products bear the expiry date only so expiry period of drug product or medicines is very critical for the product this expiry period is also known as the shelf life period and it is a critical aspect of the formulations as well as this shelf life period or expiry period is given to the pure apis or drugs and that period is known as the retest period so considering the pure apis or drugs retest period is given and after that expiry period is given while for the formulations mainly shelf life or expiry date is given and it is important to understand that what is the expiry period so as we know the period during which the formulation or drug product remain within the predetermined specifications from the date of manufacturing that means it is a period from the date of manufacturing till the product retains its predetermined specifications and these predetermined specifications are related to the safety and efficacy of the formulation this period is also called as expiry period of the medicines generally whenever we take the medicines from the stores or from the physician that time we see the expiry date so that expiry date or period or it is also called as shelf life period during that period it is safe to take that medicine it is the time during which the product is known to remain stable which means it retains its its strength quality and purity when it is stored according to its labeled storage conditions so this is the period in which you can consume the medicine our patient can consume the medicine use the medicine and it will give the desired effect then generally the medicines have a expiry period of 2 years and sometimes may have 3 years that is 24 months to 36 months and also for some of the formulations and medicines the expiry period of 5 years is given so you can see the label of the medicine and you can understand that what is the expiry period or what is the expiry date and also you can see the shelf life period from the patient information leaflet in that leaflet you can get the information about the storage period that is 2 years or 3 years so the in this period the medicine can be consumed and are safe and effective this period is given by the manufacturer of the formulation and the drugs or medicines and the manufacturers provide the guarantee of the label claim during this period after completion of this period the product or drug may get degraded or the label claim cannot be guaranteed the expiry period or shelf life period of the medicinal products are approved by the regulatory authorities see without regulatory approval for the formulation the medicines cannot be sold into the market that's why along with the product approval the regulatory authorities give the approval of expiry dating and that expiry date only can be given by the manufacturer on to the product label
and how the regulatory authorities approve the expiry date or expiry period that is after critical evaluation of the appropriate studies and based on the stability data so stability data and the required test are performed by the manufacturer in the research phase and also in the validation phase of the formulation and based on that the regulatory bodies give the expiry period approval then the manufacturer do the stability studies at accelerated intermediate and long term storage conditions you might have understood about the stability of the formulations and drugs as per the regulatory guidelines and as per the ICH guidelines the stability studies are required to be performed the stability studies involve storing the medicines or drug product at various storage conditions like accelerated condition at 40 degree celsius and 75 percent rh then intermediate condition at 30 degree celsius and 65 percent rh and at long term storage conditions based on the climatic zones and based on the regulatory requirements so long term storage conditions are generally 25 degree celsius and 60 degree 60 percent rh and for zone 4b countries or region 30 degree celsius and 75 percent rh so based on these stability studies which are performed on the intended final market packs the data is evaluated and based on that data the expiry period is determined also the manufacturers perform the in use stability studies based on the label the product container and the intended use and based on that the in use stability period is given based on the test and result of the product performance in the stability studies the expiry period is given so now you might have a question that when you can say that the medicine expires so in the layman language once you see the expiry date onto the label if it is gone that means the drug product is expired or medicine is expired suppose you are purchasing the medicine in the month of january and you find that the label denotes the expiry period of last year december month so you will say that the drug product is expired but during evaluation of the stability if the formulation goes out of the specification if the manufacturer find that the product is going out of the predetermined specifications that time the product is said to be expired so decrease or loss in the potency or assay or efficacy that will impact the efficacy out of the limit like assay limit is given as 95 percent at lower side or below 90 percent of the label claim and if the formulation shows the percentage of the active content in the formulation below 90 percent or below 95 percent that time you can say that the drug product is expired for european countries as per the european guidelines the limit is 95 percent and as per us it is 90 percent then increase in the impurity level above the safe limits so ich limits are there and based on that ich levels and limits for the impurities if the impurities goes beyond those safe limits then the product is expired 
because these safe limits are given on the basis of toxicity and if the impurities go beyond these then the toxicity may happen then microbial contamination or loss of sterility if the product is contaminated or sterility is lost that time the product is said to be expired then loss of the performance that means the performance stage like the failure of dissolution for oral formulations or failure of the activation dose per activation for aerosol type of formulations you can say if this performance is not meeting that time the product is said to be expired then formation of hard cake and loss of dispersibility so based on the formulation design and formulation requirement or performance you can test the formulation and you can say that it is performing or not and based on that performance the expiry can be given then changes in the physical characteristics discoloration of the formulations like spot on the tablets black spot or orange spot may develop sometime leakage of the container leakage of the soft gelatin capsules loss of the container integrity loss of preservative efficacy and content change in the color or ph of the liquid formulations hardening or softening of the formulations like tablet and capsules so these are the examples that what may happen and due to which the formulation loses its safety efficacy and the performance drug expires due to physical chemical and microbiological changes and due to improper storage also so if the formulation is not stored properly that time also it may expire before the expiry period as well then coming to the in use stability period so it is a short period of use once you open the container that time there will be a label claim or there will be a instruction that this formulation is required to be used within some period of time so we will see the examples the period during which the medicine is required to be used once opened or once it is prepared for use by physician or by the patient the example is eye drop bottle if eye drop bottle is intact it will cover the expiry period but once you open that bottle then the expiry period will be different and that is known as stability in use stability period so once you open the bottle then use within specific period as it may get contaminated so you will see the instruction on to the bottles like use the suspension within one month after opening the container if it is a suspension type of eye drop then use the suspension within one month or if it is solution then use the solution within one month after opening the container similarly the period during which the medicine is required to be used once antibiotic powder and water products are mixed these also have the in use stability period do not use after specific days from the day of reconstitution as the medicine may degrade in water after specific period so it will be a specific instruction that discard unused suspension after 10 days so whenever you are purchasing the medicine you read these instructions carefully then for injectable suspension also the recommendations are given label instruction for stability of the suspension or suspension after reconstitution is given then extension of the shelf life period so whether this shelf life period can be extended so the answer is yes the manufacturer of an approved drug product may extend the expiration date for the drug product based on the testing and acceptable data if your product is approved 
and you have given two year expiry period and now you want to extend that period so the manufacturer has to perform the stability studies beyond that approved expiry period and based on that the revised shelf life period can be given and that shelf life period is required to be approved by the regulatory authority some drugs and drug products have good stability and this doesn't show degradation or impurity generation so these products may get the longer shelf life the shelf life period like up to 5 years can be given for the formulation when stored as per the recommended storage conditions then risk associated with the expired medicines several potential harms may occur due to consumption of expired medicine or intake of the expired medicines low or no effect or action due to loss of potency if the assay is low on lower side then action will be less or sometime for some of the critical formulations and for the uh, rescue medications this will be very important as the loss or less action may result to life threatening conditions variable action and side effects generally the expired medicines show variability so action will be variable side effects will be variable and safety will be variable sometime toxicity may also be there as the expired medicine may contain toxic impurities patient with serious and life threatening diseases may be particularly vulnerable to the potential risk if you are taking the medicine for lowering the hypertension or for lowering the bp and if it is not working then it will be a life threatening condition some expired medications may be harmless and are likely to be less potent so not all the formulations are toxic some formulations may be harmless some formulations may produce the side effects so whenever you are taking the medicines always you have to check the expiry date and the storage recommendations also study and read the in use stability period thoroughly raise awareness for not to consume the expired medicines then if the medicines are expired so as a pharma professional or as a educated person we have to raise awareness for proper disposal and also we should dispose the expired medicines in a proper way so this is regarding the shelf life period and expiry period shelf life period is determined from the stability studies and in use stability studies the ich guidelines are there for performing the stability studies and deriving the expiry period thanks for watching the video kindly do like share and subscribe to pharma learning lab channel let's meet you soon with such kind of informative and important video till then take care and bye bye for now thank you